John, give me a ride. Here you go. All right, so I'm gonna start going about it. Whenever I'm you want. I'm using ride rolls, but that's cool. All right, John's going to central. Um, so. <clears throat> so. Yeah. Are we talking now, Kyle, or what? Go for it. Whenever you want. All right, so. Today, we're gonna do, we're gonna try a new series out, and it's the uh, firearms, history, and all kinds of fun stuff. Basically, the history behind the guns of PF1. So today, we're gonna be talking about the good old Martini Henry. It's basically all of us using one gun, and we're talking about the history. The credit so of the idea is, the is a genuine idea coming from the brains of my brother. And I'm dead. So... A little bit about it. The Martini Henry was a breech loading single shot rifle, falling block action, designed by the man Martini. Um, I think his first name was like some Italian name. Uh, but Martini Henry stands for Martini, is the guy who designed the action. Martini and Henry is the pattern of rifling. That's how the British named the rifles at the time. So the Martini Henry, Martini Henry Mark I entered service in 1871 with the British Empire, replacing the Snyder Enfield rifle. Martini Henry was produced in the Enfield plant from 1871 all the way up to about 18, basically 1901. It was produced for 30 years. It was in service for 30 years too. Uh, it was in service for 30 years, being replaced by the SMLEs. Who used this gun? What country? So, uh, England did. It made by, it was made by England and used in its colonies, such as Nepal. Uh, it was used in the Zulu and Boer Wars in the colonization of Africa. Uh, the Martini Henry was later, uh, Martini Henry originally fired a 577 460. The 577 was the 577 Snyder, which is the same round as the British, as the Snyder Enfield that was previously came before it. Then they just necked the cartridge down to a 460, which they had basically you had better uh, velocity and penetration with that round. So that was how that's what the four, 577 460 stands for. Uh, later, after the war, after, uh, after smokeless powder was uh, widespread and far in use, they used they necked it down to the 303, which is the same shell that the British Lee Enfield rifles fired. So the Martini Henry was cool because it was used in the Zulu and Boer Wars and the colonization of Africa. So basically, when England was at its highest peak, it, this was basically the right hand of England. Uh, the rifle was actually known for being strong enough to basically, if a man was charging at you, you hit him with it, he basically fell on dead right. Did they ever use it to kill animals? Uh, Such as elephants? Some men, some men used it actually when they, uh, they're actually reasonably known, is that uh, when lions would charge them, uh, the guys would, instead of not reaching for the revolvers, they'd actually spend the extra second to pull out the martini because it's knocked them dead out. Hmm. Huh. It's called the, the basically it was the hand cannon of the time. It was the shoulder mounted cannon. It was a beast of a rifle and it was uh, pretty good. The Martini Henry, if you notice, uh, if you look on, well, I think Cody running it with the bayonet. It has a sword bayonet. Uh, basically, it's a two foot bayonet that's a short sword. And notably, when they get into hand to hand combat and uh, using the Martini as a spear, they just pull the bayonet off and use it as a short sword against the Zulu. I wish you can do that in this game. <laughs> That'd be fun. Wait, you keep bringing up so the word very, Zulu. Uh, what does that mean? Zulu, That's the uh, basically, uh, the Zulu, Zulu and Boer Wars is uh, they're tribes in Africa. And uh, when uh, uh, England expanded and tried to colonize Africa, of course, they uh, fought against them because they don't want their homelands being taken over. So, that's how the... Well, speaking of Zulu, that's... The weapon skin I have is called Zulu, so kind of fitting. There's a lot of white on the weapon skin. W what does white have to do with that tribe? They wanted to step above all their colonies, so that's where the colonies revolting. They give uh, all of their uh, basically their outdated gear to their colonies. So you can find uh, Martini Henrys in colonies such as Nepal, uh, India, uh, Thailand. Had a few of them. Some of uh, uh, the most that no most notably known for uh, in the Middle East, uh, Afghanistan. There was actually a, uh, a manufacturing plant there in Afghanistan that in Iraq that made these. That made martinis, uh, made a lot of crappy martinis. Uh, that's why they called Kyber Pass. They made a lot of uh, knockoff things, kind of for tourist reasons, and um, they're not very noticeable. So if you find uh, a lot of the times their stampings are terribly noticeable, incorrect. Uh, they say uh, Enfield a lot of them because of like the only English word a lot of them knew because it was on martini because it was they were created in the Enfield Armory in England. So they had like the Enfield stamp and uh, they basically counterfeit guns. 
basic, but they use the same basic pattern. Notably, you can actually uh, find uh, martini pistols, which is kind of funny. So basically, it's a martini Henry action with a little short pistol barrel, firing the full-size rifle cartridge. Did assault rifles or any other type of weapon do that too? That type of action. Uh, not really with the, mar not re uh, the martini. Uh, the martini is a falling block rifle. Uh, it's a falling action. It's fairly common for the time period. You had uh, like the rolling block actions uh, in the U.S. Um, but like this, uh, this re it was kind of a new idea. It was kind of just oh, okay. it was, the idea itself. I mean, it was it was a common idea because you had like the trapdoor rifles, and this was kind of an improvement on it. How to get the action faster. Let's move, it, get it more faster, and keep it running. So the number of martinis that were built is uh, that you don't have the exact number, but it's approximate between uh, 500,000 and 100,000. Uh, there were carbines of the martini used by cavalry. Uh, those kind of are a pain because you're firing the full-size rifle cartridge with a shorter barrel, you have a lot more recoil. The Martini Henry is a black powder cartridge. So it is black powder, you have a slower muzzle velocity, and uh, you have this nice white cloud of smoke come out, that's why in-game, if you fire, it sounds like a massive cannon, because it's basically what it is. Uh, you had, um, kind of interesting, short side story, is you had a, uh, basically, there was a Nepalese, in Nepal, there was a Nepalese general by the name of Gehendra, and uh, Nepal, they wanted more rifles, and basically the British were like, sorry bro, we can't get you more rifles. So they basically copied these rifles and made, basically, Martini copies in a way. Uh, the action was a bit different. Instead of having a striker like the Martini, they were a hammer in the internally a hammer. So they called these Gehenger rifles. And these are you can find quite a few of them. They made about two or three a day in Nepal for about a few years. If you look at it, uh, that's not that many in firearms, mass firearms manufacturing. For example, if you want to go today, like the AR-15, so they basically say there's about a, almost a thousand ARs built in the world in a day. It's pretty so. crazy. But, I mean, it wasn't very mass productive. Um, but they are actually made, and they use the four, they use the 577-460. So the same cartridge, just made by Nepalese gunsmiths. So this little short story, uh, if you find them today, they say don't really shoot them. They're not very good. Well, uh, they do exist, and they're kind of interesting to see that this was a popular rifle. Uh, it was used by a lot of people and had pretty wide influence. Uh, the Martini Henry, uh, notably for the time period, was a fairly accurate rifle. Uh, the Martini Henry saw use not only, like I said, in Zulu and Boer Wars of the colonization of Africa, Nepal, and, uh, and some bit of Thailand and India. It was also saw use in reserve units in World War One, and that's why it's in the game BF1. Because some of reserve units, uh, very far off, like artillery corps units and a few other, basically artillery, ambulance, they had Martini Henrys. Uh, did they ever see combat? Not really. There were a few cases of uh, units being flanked or becoming under siege and firing Martinis. But by the time you're kind of outranged by smokeless powder rifles such as the Germans uh, had the Gewehr 98s, the Austrians had the Gewehr 95s, the Steyr 98, the Steyr 95s, uh, which is called the Gewehr 95 in game. Um, so that's a little bit of it. So you're kind of outranged and uh, outgunned at the time. But I mean, they did, for the time period of fighting against basically other black powder rifles or single shot because at the time period that the England had this rifle the US was still using trapdoor Springfields what's a trapdoor? so it's basically it's a muzzle loading Springfield that was retrofitted by the company uh, basically fired single shells that basically was retrofitted so that the breech of the rifle actually lifted up you'd stick your cartridge in and then pull the breech of the rifle back down because if you notice the martini, how you pull the lever and the breech comes down, yeah. basically you had a hinge pin and lift it up and that's how you put your bullet in. So it takes more time and this was kind of an improvement system. You just pull the lever, shove around and fire. So this was kind of an improvement. So the martini was an improvement at the time, otherwise they wouldn't have adopted it. So England being at the highest peak of basically any military at the time, of course, is going to have the best technology. Huh. Um, anything else? Go over? Talk about the game oh, for a oh, little bit. It's a lot for them to take in at once. Right. We have taken objective butter. Well, I guess I'll, I'll go a little bit over the different variants of it. Um, so a little bit of it is that um, there are a few variants of it. There's the Mark One, Mark Two, II, Mark Three, and Mark Four. You see a Mark Four in the game. The Mark Four is more commonly referred to as the Mark Four long lever. 
Um, the original, the Martinis, uh, they had a shorter lever, and um, basically the Mark One, as it was, you first came out, was designed by the man. Uh, I have his name here, Frederick, uh, Frederick von Martini. Uh, he designed the rifle, and uh, he had a guy, a Scotsman, by the name of. We have lost what was his name up? Charlie. Alexander Henry was a Scotsman who designed the rifle. So, Frederick von Marti uh, Henry or uh, Martini designed the action and then uh, you had a guy um, Alexander uh, Henry designed the rifling of the brother that's why it's got his name like I said so Frederick von Martini designed the Mark 1 in uh, 1870 was produced in 1871 and that was the Mark 1 the Mark 2 had a few more uh, changes to it I think they had a different uh, basically recoil plate in the front it was a different recoil plate I hope this was recoil a little bit better you had the Mark 3s um, see another small changes I I think they finally, uh, they put a, um, I think they had a different butt plate on it. I think they had a copper plate underneath the butt plate. And then the Mark IV is when they made two changes. They put a longer lever in it because Ben said it's a little bit easier to get a longer lever. You get more leverage. And they changed the extractor, and I think they improved the striker. And I think they improved the striker to Mark III. And then they had the extractor is, uh, upgraded in the Mark IV. So well, what would lever. you say is your you can, uh The Mark IV, just the iconic, the long lever. You have the improved uh, action. Better in mud. Makes it more reliable. Better in mud? Uh, if it doesn't jam as easy, uh, it's a little more rugged. So, the Mark, so the Mark, 4, Mark, the Mark 4, like I said, is in the game. Uh, some of the... Some of the Mark 1s, Mark 2s, and Mark 3s were retrofitted. For example, you can find some Martini Henrys that have Mark 1 stocks on them. So all they really did was plug where the original, because there's a brass ring which the lever slides into, that's how it locks the lever in place when you run it and it doesn't flop around. Retrofitting. So there's a brass ring and they just pl You say you talk about retrofitting, huh? Is that when you put old parts on a new gun? That's when you upgrade old parts, really. Upgrade them. So they, so what they did is they put, um, they took like the old Mark 1s and the Mark 1s, Mark 2s, and Mark 3s. And they took him back to Enfield, the Enfield company, and this is about the 1880s, 18, let's see, so 18, uh, 1887 is when they started it. So, so basically about 1885, 1887 is when they started this program. And they take the Mark 1s, Mark 2s, and Mark 3s and made them into Mark 4s. So what they'd do then is they'd come in and they would, they'd come in and they'd, Remove the striker system, and then they modify the strikers to make uh, modify the strikers to give them more constant strikes, more constant uh, release of pressure on the cartridge. Because if you have your firing pin or your striker hitting too light or too heavy, too heavy, you're doing too much damage to the striker. Too light, you're not going to get to your cartridge to ignite. Could the gun so ever blow up that, they, and cause damage to uh, the shooter? Martinis. Um, martinis generally did not, because they're black powder, you have generally low pressures. Um, the one issue that would cause the guns to explode is if the bullets are made incorrectly. Which is why in the cartridge loading itself, the bullet cartridge, you have basically your powder. Then you have... You have your powder, and then you actually have, like, a cotton, like, material. And then you have, like, a disc, like, cardboard disc almost. And then you had basically beeswax and then another disc and then your bullet the reason they did this was to get rid of air in the cartridge because you've had air in the cartridge black powder it basically creates a small little chamber and then it explodes not get caused your gun to blow but other than that like cracks in the barrels yeah black powder is generally low pressure a lot low pressure than uh, standard smokeless powder so generally these are not explode. they're very reliable rifles Very simple rifles too. It doesn't seem very simple to me. Because if you take a Martini Henry apart, if you look at it, I think overall, including every single part in the rifle, there's about 30 parts, and that's like including all the screws and stuff. It says not on the top of my head, but. And for, that's actually very good. It's very simple, very reliable. Um, you don't have to worry about these things floating. Uh, anything else you want to add? 
Not sure I know anything else. Oh. I think that's all about the martini. Alright, which gun do you want to talk about next? The PO8? I don't know enough about the PO8. Anybody else got any ideas? No. Alright, we want to just get to Martini, I guess, and go back to gameplay? We could. Is that a listen to me rant? We could no. have a su comment suggested thing where they, where they decide what the next weapon is. That sounds good to me. What to do research on it? So we already. So, all right, take it, you guys. Between the different variants, did they ever have different iron sights? Um, the iron sights generally all stay the same. I don't think they. I don't think they actually changed the iron sights at all. I, I think generally uh, the British liked certain type of iron sights. They figured out what iron sights they liked over the Snyder, the Snyder, Hen, uh, the Snyder Henrys, and other styles of rifles. So they kind of went with uh, Martini. Um, the reason they switched uh, the rifles between basically the Enfield and the Martinis is that you had a different cartridge and you had more range. With different time periods, you want different things. And this game has a low sweet spot, meaning it's better to use. At closer, in this case, it's better to use at closer <coughs> distance. Was it ever used at far range? Um, <coughs> you still get you're getting. I mean, you have England. This is all the eight, this is the 1870s. Um, th this is the colonization of Africa. Generally, you wanted to keep the Africans didn't have guns. They had like bows and arrows and slings and stuff like that. So you wanted to keep them at range, basically anything like 100 meters. But generally, um, but they're come, they're charging at you, so if you keep them at range, it's what you want them to do. I mean, in game, you have to, in game, you, all of your engagements are closer than what most likely is supposed to happen. Um, so I mean, the martini probably you, you're not going to see engagements farther than generally 200 meters. You are shooting a large black powder cartridge that falls a lot, and is fairly slow. What's a big upgrade between black powder cartridges and normal cartridges? Well, the difference between black powder is you have a lot of, like, you have this white smoke cloud in front of you. Um, so the British issue with it is the British would line up and then fire. Well, if all of you line up and fire, all of you produce a bunch of white cloud of smoke, and then you can't really see them charging at you because you just see a bunch of white cloud of smoke in front of you. So smokeless powder, you don't have that. Smokeless powder, your cart it burns faster. So you produce more gases, which translates to your bullet leaves the barrel faster. Your muzzle velocity is faster, which is why. So basically, the two ways you get stop the two ways you get stopping power is you get bullet mass and weight, and then speed. Well, the issue with black powder is black powder burns at like a certain speed, which is slower. So which is why you have 50 cal 70, which is like the, the brown best muskets were like 75 caliber. That's three quarters of an inch. You're shooting a three quarter of an inch bullet. And then then you move down to like 50 caliber and stuff. Well, if you look at a 50 caliber rifle in today's terms, is like anti-tank. It's what in World War One, World War II, and early World War we're used to shoot tanks. We killed tanks. Because smokeless powder burns faster. So you have more speed. And how you get more stopping power is speed and mass. So if you have a faster projectile, you can have a smaller bullet mass. And you get the same, if not more stopping power. In your opinion, is it better to go with the smaller, faster bullet, or a bigger, slower bullet? Uh, smaller, faster. You're more accurate that way, you can, get, you can gauge people at farther ranges. So it increases the range, which is why in World War One and World War, basically earlier World War One, because everybody's discovering smokeless powder. So if you look at it, like the Gewehr 98 iron sights, their iron sights went out to like 2,000 meters. 
Are you gonna be able to hit someone at 2,000 meters? Pass. Someone at 2,000 meters? Probably not. But the round could go out that far. So there's kind of this philosophy in World War One. Everybody thought, yeah, we're gonna be fighting 15,000 meters away. Well, no. Realistically, reality hit him in the face, and we're fighting only about 100, 200 meters away in the trenches. So that's kind of the interesting thing. Did you ever use black powder in World War One? Yes. Um, but it was kind of a tech. You kind of you're kind of behind the power. Right? Dang! I tried a bayonet charge. That's all I really got. If you got any other questions. I was good 20 minutes of knowledge. Knowledge. I right, gotta get, gotta take B. I think it's a good ratio. Spend a round chatting about the history, spend the other round playing the game. Oh no. Alright, that's that's my rant about the Martini Henry and all of its gloriness. Says, but this fight is not over. If we pull together like true Italians, all right, now we gotta win the game. Now I gotta focus on winning the game. Crumble. Still using the Martini. <coughs> you ready, John, to kick some booty? Maybe. Sounds like I can use some my 12 gauge extended. I'm like a sawed off. Gotta get good with it. And then a gasser because why not? I remember in Dude, the I got the Nagant revolver. In the movie Flyboys. They went for the land they went for the airship and it had L thirty two on the side of it. You know what I don't understand? Is that we actually had like flying aircraft carriers. Like some of the blimps they put like landing on so you could like land planes on them. Like, why'd we stop that? Everything is invaded, dude. Including our thinking. Like, you not have flying aircraft carriers. You're like, nah, sorry, bro. I think I need to refine that. I need to have. A, I need to make a script, really. I found all the snipers. We have taken objective apples. John, do you want to open the door? I am coming back to bomb some snipers. Spot them out, I will gladly hit them. You're in an airplane right now? Well, that is a pom pom. I don't like those. Yep. All right. I don't know if I got you here though. Oh, Definitely don't got you here. Oh, no. Down above you. Yep, yep, yep. Oh god. That's a mistake. I'll avenge you. You don't deserve to be on my bayonet. I think the blimp should be smart and heading over B. We can just oh, take I, it. I can the I was wondering when you guys in. 
I'm at a pretty good power position right here. Push up to the trudges. Fast to the victors. Oh, we're losing A, dude. No uh, way. Oh, already truck. Already truck. Oh, we got the sector still. Yeah, our big truck is stuck in the creek. So just kind of let it sit there and I'll kill it. Oh, it's stuck? I don't need that. I'm pretty sure it's stuck in the creek. I don't think there's much way. We got a ship creek with that paddle. We're in a hostile I thought we'd take this objective, but... Oh, we got the already took. Good job. Oh, I thought John captured us. Like, oh my god. No, the Arty truck's dead. I made sure to kill it with a grenade because I needed that anti tank grenade to kill on vehicles. For, for what? Uh, Storm the Doors assignment. Uh, okay. Okay, go from the door. Open. Gotcha. Stand back. That's an incendiary. You can run through it. Oh, Dodge and weave this. He did, he did, he did. He did it pretty well, too. Friendly's oh, reached the other side, so we're good. Good work time. I don't think they like us. I don't think anybody would. Oh, one just hop. Oh, behind us, behind us, behind us. Yeah, there. one hopped in. Oh, look at the spot players. They are hopping in. Fuck crazy. I got blown up, guys. Stay alive. Yep, I'm still gonna hit. Oh, do you stay alive? Four health dream, dude. <laughs> I think I capped. Every dreaming. dream ends with a nightmare. A nightmare. I'm gonna kill the guy with the same pistol he killed me with. I wish there was an inspect in this game. I know, me too. Ooh, watch how he's above the gates. Oh, I can't get over there. Got his little head peeking out. He wants to get domed. Anybody got explosives? Sure don't run in the martini. Um, somewhat, yeah. Can you hit the door? Yeah, let me let me start grabbing oh, dynamite me, instead no. of if you did something try I would hope that. I got shot. Oh my god! You should be not a good idea. Burn, eh? Oh! I spawned on Cody and you died. So I, like, I was about to spawn in, and then he goes, yeah, the player you spawned on was killed, and like, threw me back to the spawn screen. Uh, watch watch right, watch Got right. Got him. Got him. Charged him with shotgun. Got him. Oh, uh, this guy's for a name or see. I hope he likes oh, my they're, grenades. They're in the doorway. Okay. Apparently it didn't. Did get barred too? Fortunately, I can safely say I did. Squad's oh. down. I'm not using a tie on this stupid. Is this a tie if we finish right here? No, we have to get one uh, of no, we Yeah, have one more map track. after this. It's uh, Empire's Edge, right? Yep. I thought we're only going to the next one if we win this one. Yeah, we do. But we don't win this yet. Yeah, because we still have this attack and then one left. Oh, walk into that one again, please. Thanks. Oh, that man just ate it. Cody, I saw that one. I've There's never done this good with the martini. I'm really happy. Now all the time I'm doing good. Where do you hit from? Oh god. Oh yeah, there's three all on the right side. Alright, left side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the mini map. I'm Revive just... me in it. 
Provide me an incendiary grenade, homie. I would really appreciate that. Alright, we might need to switch up here in a second. Do I have a douche nozzle class? No. Well, I gotta keep using the martini after that great presentation that you made. Here you go. I got my automatic kill equipped. Wish we just like siege ladder into there. I know, it'd be fun. It's a big yeah, dance from the yeah, battlefield. Yeah. I'll push through. I have an automatic coach trench. I mean, hip fire is god. Oh, there's a lot of we us have in shotguns. one room. Peek the corner. Guy, go fast. I got one. Dead. Alright, good job. Please don't revive me in an incendiary. Why'd I not bayonet charge? Bartect him. Revive me in an incendiary. Oh, wait, that's not friendly. Okay. Oh, my team is pushing up. They're definitely not pushing up. Alright, John, watch the flank. Watch the flank. Don't let him come up. Got one. Alright. My man. There's a flame trooper. There is a flame Where? trooper. Above. Gotta break it to you, but above's not the best call on. Oh, I got him! I got the flame trooper. Uh, I banned really? I charged him. Good job, Code. Yeah, look, he killed me with the flame fly. 18 A's coming in. Five men. <laughs> Dude, he thought he was about to go off. He made contact with like five people, and then ah! Oh, I thought you had credit to being with a diversion to crit. I like in this game if you get hit by the flame floor, you can still survive. In other games, you get hit by it once and you just gotta keep tingling till you die. Till you die. And there's mm, Kobe. Uh. Behind you guys! Behind you guys! That is garbage. Where's John at? Oh. We're not losing this battalion on this object. That's it. Yeah, we got a lot of them somewhere, and I think they're either all in the one bunker. Or they're underground. Hey, we gotta just we gotta, we gotta just clear out the bunkers because we got it here. Getting in the hard part. John, in that window up there. My God, 93 hit. Come on, come push in for me. Here we go. Get in, start clearing. I got double teams. Bodero, my man. Bodero. Right, stay low. Stay alive, Cody. I'm only moving about five. Of our oh, I got hit. My Two bad. seconds. Two seconds, come on. I'll put an anti flank fire. or an anti push. <laughs> Dang, dude. Oh, no, the gas killed me. He has five health. If he pushes me, he's gonna die by my grenade. I'm gonna spawn on you, coils. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, they're behind you guys. They're behind you guys with the Lewis. Dang, dude. You really lost that? Wow. Like the top guy on our team is going a hundred and a hundred and ten and four. The top guy on their going on their team is fifty one and fifty two. 
He's a level 100. Don't ask me how they're me. doing it, but they're doing it. Me and John are on the same level. Alright, 10 kills, kind of automatic OE, right, isn't I'm it? Spawn in a, I'm gonna spawn in a plane. <laughs> the automatic aimbot into the new variant. Best variant. That is hostile. Bad man offered to John. Okay, never mind. Ah, uh, there's a field gun. Where's the field gun? I <laughs> did. Underneath the land ship, pretty much. Uh, not on my screen. He's still alive. Oh, there's two of them, And whoever's outside the bunker right now is getting chased. That would be weird, maybe. That would be. There he is. Oh, they're on the windows. Which one? I can only see two. I hear footsteps. They might be behind us. Doubt. That we have the airship, we could probably drop stuff down on top. Yeah, paratrooper, really. Oh, I didn't get a kill. Somebody does not like me. I got no. Oh my gosh, dude. Why my bayonet charge do nothing? Bayonet charge is so bad sometimes, dude. Come on, I spawn it on you. Okay. Give me a second. They got her a six. I mean, a twelve. Could you a twelve? You got ripped. Twelve. I right, dropped me over the battlefield. Thanks, pops. Give me a second. Uh. Yeah. Oh crap. I should say no, what I, I over what, what I was over wasn't quite the battlefield. Right. Are you crashed or what are you doing? No, I almost slammed into a mountain. <laughs> I was repairing. Am I going for an attack run? There's a guy to buy right. He's going straight down. I'm gonna line up here, though. I missed the pom pom. I right, want to jump out. Now be the time to do something. Yeah, I learned my lesson last time. Oh, I have to. Oh, that's why, because I'm not on our side of the map. With one second left, dude. <laughs> jump now or forever hold your peace. My bombs didn't detonate. What the heck? I literally have a paint job called Yellow Belly. My turn looks like a bumblebee. This camera looks like the llama cannon from CS. My revolver. I found a way to get into the bunkers. Somewhat. That one? Yeah. You can climb some of the walls and get in. Oh, really? Yeah. On the northeast side of the easternmost bunker. Because everything else has been blown out through them, so. Oh, I just hit a friendly plane and looped. Okay. Come on, John. Stay strong. I got a spawn in on you. Oh, you can always spawn on me if you need it. Harry Potter it. Harry Potter it. Okay, I'm sorry. hiding on this guy, please. I'll go on the roof. Ooh, spicy. That one. Oh. Yeah, now I see the problem at hand. I kind of just parachuted into someone's iron sights. Oh, that is not good for my health. Not my preferred method of entering. Combat zone. Give me a second. I'm gonna loop around. Oh, 
on, go. Come on, go. There you go. Alrighty. Got one. That's the pom pom. I quite see people on fire because I know it's an easy one shot one kill. Alright. It's like he's already got that little oof done to him. Carla, in nine seconds, I'm gonna spawn on you. Give me a second. Whoa. How about six o'clock? I right, find a bail done now. Oh, we just dodged that guy. Oh my god, okay, I'm done bailing from your airplane, dude. I get killed every time. You get shot. Yeah, That's why is there a shotgun on the top roof? Are you trying to shoot planes down? Oh, yeah, it's gonna work well. But that's why I got Model 10 8 out of a plane on the roof. Oh, yeah, okay. If, if I had any other shotgun, I'd be a little bit impressed. I've, I've got Model 10 8 snapped out of a uh, plane before. Plane? Really awkward. Yeah, I was flying a There's plane a, uh, and I got killed. There. Model 10 8. But they like grenades. Right side. Oh, there's an enemy right here. Yeah. I wish they like grid second. They're in the building. Smartini's getting very annoying. I'm pretty sure we have this objective already. I, you heard oh, that just crouched sliding. Got like six Dang, kills this whole entire Dang. round. Dang. One. Bodeo. He's just like going through walls and stuff. It's great. Like it's 44 bolts or 44 damage a bullet. Okay. Give you a good drop spot. Ready. Front. Let's do that. I hope I can pull like insane turns in this black line. Are we not capping? Okay, there you go. We're starting to. Oh, no. We were. Where are they all at? What, dude? This kid seems to always dodge my bullets. No matter what I do. Not that If you can spot them out, I can bomb them. You get shot down. Where do I need to bomb them? The courtyard or what? Okay, they're behind the building. I got it. Taking it. There you go. I see you, little cheeky sniper. I bombed the pit if I were you. In the middle of that was good. That's where the majority of them were hiding at. I got it. I'm gonna try to loop over and hit him. Return to the combat area. The right angle. Okay, I think I got it. My last stroke, last one by one. I got one, John. Okay. Yep. Oh, no. Gotta stay at range, or else I'm just gonna get shredded. Get back around, girl. Come on, easy, girl. There you go. Mm. I got two. Of I got three there. I dropped one in the building on the roof. I got a squad wipe. Make a tab to be easy for you. They drop in the pit. Hate to break it to you, I'm kinda stealing all your kills from the pit. I got two, I got two assists from that too. 
Dude, I'm on this airship. I love this gun. Mm. The other LMG just uh, don't cut one in the roof. Where the heck is it at? It's how that kid got so many kills. He just got up here on one of these. Dude, I'm getting more squad wipes than Hitler. Uh. It's crazy. You act like you didn't hear. Oh, slammed into. Taking the objective. Slowly. All right. I see him. I see him. You're pushing out along the fence line. I'm trying to hit the fence line. The wall. I'm just hitting where I see people. All right. It seems to be working. Get spotted. It's called the flamethrower with the shotgun. There How many go. kills that I have? 69. <laughs> I had 31. <laughs> and said, oh look, a flamethrower. I killed the kids and just lit them up. That airship, there really. Go, finally, get... That airship was great. Getting some plane kills. The Austro Hungarian line was breached and its armies divided. Subsequently, the fighting moved south towards the Adriatic coast. Where the Empire forces were determined to put up one last fight. Imagine we play all this. My audio is just like distorted. Because I moved controllers. We're still using martinis, right? I switched to automatic with a creative bunker, but I'll throw a martini on. It's pretty good, actually, it's decent range. So now I have to do this. I don't know, should I go like again? full off? Hey, do you want to go like full off screen, Cody, and run Gewehr 95s and the repeat and pistols? I really don't want to use the martini right now, but. Alright, so go. No, we're the Italians, right? Yep. We you are have any... Italy. Oh, we have the. F so we have to go, um. Better release? With uh, farmer stops. Huh? The what of them? The better lease map. Oh, you can use the automatic if you want. <laughs> so anything that, that sounds Italian. Gotcha. RSE. That's French. That's British. Or Ooh. French, yeah. Or sorry, that's French. Okay, I'm about to say, do we have an argument appearing? A wild argument is no, approaching. It's, do, do, it's, do, 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 it's so ridiculous. It was French, but didn't the British pick it up at some point? It's too ridiculously complicated. Why did anybody else want to copy it? Brothers. Oh, no, I figured, like, some. I think there's some British soldiers that started picking those guys up. Most of the gaunt marksmen. Gewehr 98 marksmen. They just don't want to use Gewehr 98. That is really German. Oh, I'm that. really dumb. Do you know how I said I bought that <laughs> skin and it doesn't look very good? Yeah. Kind of cuz I didn't equip it. Wow. I'm running a betterly. I'm I'm uh, currently running a horse. Hit me, you won't. I got the Italian class ended up, I got the Betterly with the Farmer Stop. Okay, I forgot. I thought I had the Piper. Did not have the Piper. Oh. This guy is the worst of the MG15. We have taken objective apples. Dang, dude. We're pushing back already. I'd prefer if you don't lock me out. Thanks, bud. Windows, watch out. Uh, what? Where are they at? Uh, currently eating my bullets. Have fun. Not that it. Do I have a hatchet? I can't. Uh, remember. I would not suggest going up there just to let you know. Find out in three, two, one. I picked up his, uh, tripwire. You can pick up enemy trip lines. Yeah, at least the first one I can pick up. Where's respects? Right there as well. 
But I got, but I got trench gun in the process, so it wasn't really worth it. But I did it. Absolutely does matter. You done picked up a trip fire. You have mm. any lives you could have saved? I, I could have got an 18 man trip fire. Oh, they're behind you. Behind me? I don't like that. Yeah, I just had a chance. I got surrounded. Buy some cheese. <laughs> We're getting shot. I just like yelling know. up in the air. Hey, guy. Hey, hey, yeah. It appears I'm getting shot at. Sneaky but okay, sneaky but okay, sneaky but okay, sneaky but okay. Do do. We have lost objective Apple. Through the trench. He done shot me in the air, dude. Sounds like we need some bar. Specifically, uh, a doughboy, maybe? Exactly. I'm glad you knew. I just hit him for 90, that makes me salty. They had to redo the visuals on the ammo crate. That does not look like I, does not look like I remember it today. Hey, John, are Cody up stopping that building? That one the right there, that's what I'm running yeah, into in the back. Wait, behind you. Yeah, lump of charges? Yeah. Dude, they're, they're time, yeah they're time. This building's about to blow up. Cody, I'd get out of there. Man. No, I didn't throw any. I probably should have, though. Well, someone's dying. Hold on, someone don't die. Someone don't die. I have lump of charges. Time. I'm gonna spawn in on your drop. Spawning on your position. No, says Hold one wall is in the corner. Trying to hide. Don't worry about him. I have a limpet charge below him. Got one. H I hit him 77. Ooh, I got it. They're all over the place. Oh, John's. I, yeah, okay, I got one. Oh, he's on the rock. Where are they? Uh, oh, okay, so they're outside. A. Oh, he's behind the rock, there. right from where I died. Like. The direction of right. Rifle sucks. Oh god. I don't know if I got a suppression assist. So that's cool. Don't exactly know how you suppress somebody with a shotgun, but. Kind of loud. Makes a loud bang sound. Kind of seems like it. Well, yeah, but it, I mean. John, I got. I got. You get a suppression I'm assist instead of a kill assist. Oh, whoa. I get hit by a rifle. The bar being an LMG is such a joke. So I'm not complaining. It's only my why my support such a high level. Make them over Oh, can you show you one? Let me vault this real fast so I don't die. Dang, dude. Oh, 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 oh. What a clutch master, dude. No, oh. mind you. And they're already back on you. Model 10 a Hunter. That's fun. Yeah, uh, I hear you say Model 10 a Hunter, and I, uh. Model 10 a Hunter. It was just a second too late. I got him right after you shot Cody. Riding in the military equivalents of the Magic School bus right now. Do, 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 have to hum it myself so I don't get copyright striked. Drifting on man. YouTube <laughs> all the way to fame. Just kidding, because I make videos about education and they get no views on the magic school bus. Du -du -du -du. You're capping, eh? Who needs some umos? But if we cap B, then it should be easier to cap B or cap A. You're right, but then they have the higher. You would think that we having the high round before help us a significant amount. Huh? So it, it won't help them. 
Yeah, I, they're they're behind us. Why didn't I check that? He's shredding our whole entire team. Got him. But I see Jonathan the Sorgens. I'm just gonna spawn by our spawn. I need a Sorgen. It's just, just a 12 uh, 12 gauge automatic extended. Oh really? Yep. I like the Sorgen a lot more. Well, yeah, but I in order to get this the M the 1900s log, I have to get 50 kills with the 12 gauge. And like oh, 20 right. kills with the gasser. I said screw the slug. Them both. Well, you gotta go completionist, is what you gotta do. God dang. I love this better elite, it just doesn't kill anything. I love being okay. the only support guy. Oh, I don't. Because people actually walk towards my ammo, so just requesting it. Brings our team together. We lost two. Oh, I'm gonna get Molotov to death. We are gonna level kill. Screw that crap. Come on, someone's range. gotta do it. Come on, someone's gotta do it. Alright, I'm running into battle at the shore gym. Alright, just Come on. Come on. Come on. Or they have B because we took A. What is life anymore? Oh, Jesus. They are all over. Okay. How do you lean in this game? Ooh, yes. Because yeah. it just made me lean right there. I have no idea. I had no idea how I did it. You just kind of go up to a doorway or something and you just press. Yeah, it'll like automatically eat this M ADS. There's no way I can like force it. No, like if you crash in a corner, you will kind of automatically lean. What if I take Because you're going to be canted to one side or the other. Oh, okay. That's, that makes more sense. They have a bomber inbound, so shred that immediately. That my a, a Oh, I yeah, hit it once. Yeah, yeah. A A size. Really good. Oh, that's somebody. That's cool. Serpentine is always the way to go. That's our really. Time. I'm out sniping you with a with iron sight. Sean, behind you. Not anymore. I just gotta sprint to make it to the wall. That's all I gotta do. Um, I want more smokes for you guys. The doorway. There's a guy sniping in the building. You can see the glint. Oh, we got a uh, Saint Shaman coming down from B. Oh, uh, friendly or enemy? Yeah, B. Uh, enemy. Oh, crap. Dang. Potosaurus Rex. Ooh, I got that man. That was nice. Uh, the guy that killed me just got murked by the say um, our friendly heavy tank, who just decided to just run him over and call it good. What? That was a little closer. That's so dumb. You're right in the sweet spot range. Of the LaBelle. I am currently too far. Boar. How do you put the Thea pistol? I don't like that. Oh, either. Kyle. Do you, do you know the Who do you I'm going to take out the building room as much as I'd like to end. I actually do have a what legendary for the Repepa there. The pistol that I like so much. Oh, really? Did this challenge just show me? It says, get 50 kills with the bar storm and get another 20 with that pistol. It's like, hey, dude, I do that normally. It's like, no wonder I'm already 35%. How this dude? His. I think 
I need to go back to Martini now. Oh, Columbia, but... I didn't know we yeah, had like a it. field hospital over here. There's like three medics. All, right, fine, I'm all the time, giant ammo boxes which they placed down. And there's one support just getting all sorts of ammo boosts. Hey boys, medic and man. Wait, where's this guy at? Get out of my objective. Return to the combat area. Well, that's a body rolling down the hill. I thought it was someone Oh, crawling. he's up on the roof roof. Mortar him. him. Oh, shoot. Thank you. But I'd get out of there quick because... That's the only smelling marksman boot, so... I got field gun. And then that guy just got 85 hit. Two shots to the head, but he's still alive. That's life, I guess. We are losing objective Why can I spawn on Cody? Yeah, my bad. I was probably not looking. Oh boy. I was in a pretty Ready risky spot. Yeah, I am. Oh Find snap, this I jump. For hurting some people out of a house. Found him. He doesn't like us. For a no. <laughs> He's dead now. Bayonet charged me. I don't right, like it. Is. It is. It is good. Right, we gotta get B now. I right, get B. Um, I will oh say one God. thing. Is that the heavy tank pushed up and it did get us a tiny foothold. Tiny foothold though. And something tells me we lost it. I'm shooting at him. Why is he peeking me? Get a sense of mob. Or Where's the Saint Shimon? The friendly pushing in. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh, I don't have to aim. I don't get it, dude. I have to aim high for some, not for others. So I always gotta aim ahead, though. Oh god, he went suicide Never and put mind. down a lump at charge. Dear God, dude. I don't understand sometimes. Course, close quarters combat right there. There's a guy on the staircase with the close the destroyed house. Hitting my shots, I'm not even dying, and I'm angry from sniping. Cause it's so like unpredictable. Oh, whatever that was, I do not like it. I'm out of ammo. Hey, don't I mind me. Bomber. Yeah. I'll help us push. Ooh, I just juked the sniper. I feel good about that. Oh. Right, I could have just used my K bullets. Thanks. I'm thinking horses, if we can get them, would be great. But then, highly mobile. Guys. And get up to the lines quick and take out a good chunk of snipers, that would be good. Alright, Cody behind you. They've already lost uh C, by the way. Alright. I'm on a roll Have right now. It? Oh god. I'm on like a ten kill streak. Are they jumping off of like alpha?
This is the M1903. This is the big boy. With the Mars automatic. I actually wanted to use that. Just on the wall. Never used the Mars automatic. Mars automatic on the objective. Yes, let me get my revenge. Fine. Automatic box. We have taken objective hey John, do you have a support at all? I'll take it. It needs to be repaired. If you can repair it, yeah. I'm assault remember. If uh, Kyle, right. stay back, stay back. I'll rush in and die. Or I'll just play stupidly and die. Yeah, I'll have a new class in about ten seconds. All right, hold on, Kyle. You still got it? Okay. Yep. I'm in A. Or B, sorry. Okay. There's one of John. Yeah, where are you? Edge. Oh, they're on B. I don't know where they're at. Stay strong, Kyle. Oh, it's probably behind the tank, behind the tank, behind the tank. Alright, moving. He killed me, he killed me. Yes, assist counts as kill. Oh, it was a medic 9 meters away. Where are they at? Oh, uh, they killed us. Hold on, I'm gonna spawn B and repair you even more. You can go to like a corner or something. That's part of a tank, honey, it's your smart. Yeah, I got smoke, so I'll just smoke your tank and repair it. We have taken objective Charlie. Some guy thinks he's gonna kill you. Oh god. <laughs> Little did he know. Kyle, stay back here. Stay back, stay back, stay back. I just fell down the hill. Did I get that? Yeah, Working you're out of the sector, and I'm gonna die in 10 seconds. Cody, he's like right here, dude. This guy wants ammo too. Oh yay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, Infantry, tip of the spear. Can I get on it? Hold on. Alright, drive. That's a pistol. Oh, this is the howitzer man, it's got a machine gun. Best taxi in the world. Who picks the howitzer there? Okay. You seriously hey, has a howitzer tank? Yep. I mean, I guess it's a good SPG, but that's Ow. about it. God, just drive, portable dude. Artillery. Drive to me. Oh, Never mind, no, I'm off. I can't. Oh. How are none of those headshots? I want them to have vehicles so I can kill them. That'd be nice. Alright, Cody, can you repair me? I'm in the middle of a fight right now. Give me a good minute. Yet again, the guy from TMC kills me. As I run through the giant smoke cloud. Okay, I got you. No, dude, I just needed to hit one more bullet and I could have helped you. 13 health. Alright, if you can get out for a quick second, I can spawn in on you and then get back in it. Kyle. Alright, okay, I'm good. I still can't spawn in on you for some dumb reason. Alright, I'll just spawn in and walk to it. Hey, can you go back a little bit? Um, what did I bring in? Artie truck? Well, Assault something. Tank. It's Damn the 17, John. So anything. Tank. Anything? 17 points left. 17 lives left. Bringing in the big guns. The smallest tank ever. 
Ah, uh, no. Not the smallest tank ever. I'm not bringing in that, that little, whatever truck you want to call that thing. Light the tank? The light tank's the cash. No, no, you're talking yeah. about the No, truck. he's talking about, the, I'm talking about the little Russian one. Alright, here, we're gonna push B. So no, he's trying to go A. I mean, yes, sir. I'm here at Alpha. Got nine points. Got nine points oh, to take it. it. Coming in, John. We're at Alpha. We're taking it. Wow, we what a clutch. Woo! No way, dude. They're upstairs. He's in got oh, he, he was upstairs. Let's go. I got the light. Oh, I got the fastest firing tank, and you got the slowest. But I feel like this actually is a smart squad. idea. He wants ammo, but he walks away from it. Got it. I get how this game works now. I'm trying to get in head of him. Oh, light team. So, uh, abilities on her. Okay, I can drop ammo for people if I need to. I can drop bullets and ammo, and I have self repair. Oh, and I can drop landmines. That's another one of them. Oh, I forgot about that. Which one's closer? A, hit A first, and just go take out. B. Oh, dude, our tank just. I have a machine gun as a secondary. Oh god. The final objective is within our reach. Yeah, it is. Dang, dude, I should have went prone. If I could see something, that'd be great. Oh god, he has crossbow frags. He has crossbow frags. And I have canister shells. Oh, I got Fight. hit. Like, Cody, I really need- No, I got destroyed by a field gun. John, you're the only armor we got. John, you want to back up? Oh, if I could get repairs. repaired, that'd be great. Yeah, I'm all the way yeah, back Cody's here, though. Go. Oh, dead. I was at the oh, gates. My audio's messing up, maybe because this game's been an hour and 12 minutes. To the right. Who really yeah. wants to watch an hour and 15 minutes? Him. It's gonna take forever to upload. That's what I was but... saying is just make that like, just take the first bit and turn it into like the video for the Martini Henry, and then use everything else for gameplay. I'll upload. I'll upload all of it. I'll just put a timestamp when it ends, when the first game ends. Cool. This is all one game. That is correct. On the first map. Am I politically correct now? I oh, know. On a map, it's a landscape. You're not a human. You're a disappointment. It's a size. I'm, I'm joking, John. You map the entire freaking. Where you guys at? Hey. I was dead. Oh, that, I'm trying to... that's cool. I would highly recommend being dead is not that great. I, I would highly not recommend being dead. This is one thing I uh -huh. learned from Vietnam. Back in Nam. We're taking B. But yeah, but A. A is the problem here. And B is about to get lost, I feel. Yep, there it is. Just all that progress slowly going away. This guy got like a 10,000 kills. So we have lost this fight, take us. For Italy is an nation. When we have matured, when we are fully grown, our time will come. One can only speculate what an Austro-Hungarian victory would have meant for the future of Europe. It is possible success could have united the crumbling empire, allowing the Habsburgs to keep control of their countries, races, and ethnicities. For at least a few months longer. We literally have one objective left. Yeah. Literally, one, you're capping B. Exactly. Major, Major defeat? defeat? What do you mean? We won the whole entire first game. Barely.
He almost steamrolled the entire game. Yeah, and that last objective gave us. A yeah. Pick. How did a three man score? I don't know how that's. Him? I think that would just be a defeat because. <laughs> We kind of wiped them over the walls the second half. I mean, we kind of stole their tank and then used it to kill plenty of them. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Not fun. I don't think Battlefield knows what it's talking about. My personal KD is 2.29. <laughs> Our squad had the best repairs and best resupplies. Dude, ya boy. <laughs> Good. Go team. <laughs> Apparently, I could get, I could get it resupplies because I drop out like ammo crates and stuff out of the back. Me too. It's like the tanks are just resupplying everybody. We need to all get light tanks. If there's a map where you can all three of us get tanks and be a light tank squad. That's a great idea. Or maybe two light tanks and a land ship, or two light tanks no, and a heavy tank. No, three light. We got the 